Hello YouTube, what's going on guys? CGL's New Jersey Collectibles here with a brand new episode. I'm at the flea market and uh, we're gonna go try and find some really cool stuff. Hopefully we pull out some comics, some toys, anything cool, anything that grabs my attention. I'm here with my dad and uh, yeah, so if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, please like it and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think the best buy of the day was. Let me know what you think the worst buy of the day was. Let me know uh, your thoughts on the video. Catch you guys at the, at the flea market. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Miss, yes. uh, we grabbed twenty-two dollars worth. Could we do twenty? Okay, sure. That's good. You want my bar? Yes, please. We missed you guys last week. Oh yeah, we were not here. <laughs> <laughs> we went away, you know. <laughs> You're always our first stop of the day. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. you Which one? The, the brass one? Oh no, the brass one's 50. No, I do not. No, not for that price. No, I do not. That's the way I got The guy who I got that and I got a couple other things, the guy smashed them all before he put them over. He smashed them all. That's where the people are. Hey, buddy, what do you got on the uh, board game? Uh, this guy right here. Uh, how much you want Ten for this? How much? 10? 10 bucks. It's complete. It, it is complete? I got another chandelier over here. Okay. I'm not gonna argue. You got change? Sure.
find other stuff, you can grab these too, but if not, just, I mean, just leave them. I don't know if it's worth it. It's just comics. Eddie, man, what's up? Yo, what's up? How's it going? Good, yourself? Good. You know, if, is Dolph here or is he not here today? I didn't see him today. Yeah, I didn't see He's not in his usual spot. Yeah. I'll catch you later. Hey buddy, what do you got on the uh, aftershave bowling uh, eight pin? Eight dollars for that. Eight dollars? Yeah. All right, I might be back for that. Thank you. Yeah, all right. It's cool. It, it is. It's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, I should have learned because Check these. How's it going? Morning. What do you got on the uh, bag of figures? 60. 60? And my dad said it was 75 on this? Would you take 60 for this? Sure. We'll do 60? All right. That's a good deal. I like being fair. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'll see you regularly. I got so. it. Thank Thanks you, a lot. Nice and your name is? Cole. Cole Chris. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Do you carry it? Man, I'll do, uh, Give me 40 on that. 40? That's fair. It is, it is fair. Well, how much is the, uh, that arrow? The, the arrow, uh, I take 15. What is it? Like yeah, well, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, yeah, it's a uh, champagne. They're like collectible uh, champagne boxes. I'm, I'll, walk, I'll walk around. You got it? I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Let me know. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks. $15,000 maybe for the other one. Yeah, this one? How much do you want for that? $150. How much? $150. All right. <laughs> no price on here. Maybe ask. Yeah, we'll check it. 
I think it was Marvel number one. Just got on the 60. 60. What do you think this is worth? I gave him four or five bucks for it. I asked you how much you thought it was worth. Ten, fifteen dollars? In this condition, ten dollars. Maybe fifteen. Maybe. I mean, the market's changed so much. Just curious, there's no price on this one. Oh, this What'd one? What'd you have for that? Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks? Yeah. Alright. Would you take 10 for it? I'll do 10. Yeah. Take, take it for 10. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks. All right, guys. Welcome back to the house. Um, just so you guys know, there was a lot of stuff purchased off camera after I had left the flea market because my dad sticks around and he found a lot more cool stuff. So be sure to watch the entire video so you catch everything because there is a lot of big ticket items in this video, guys. So first thing that was purchased after I left was we went back and uh, bought the aftershave bowling pin. Uh, just so you guys know, I'm a bowler. That's kind of like my sport of choice. I take it very seriously. And this was just weird. Like it's, it's um, wild country aftershave, but it's in a bowling pin. The box is cool. I gotta clean it up a little bit. The guy wanted eight bucks for it. I wasn't gonna pay eight dollars for it because I'm not looking to resell it. But I, I sent my dad back afterwards. I was like, tell him, tell the guy five bucks. I'll give him five bucks. The guy said six bucks, and my dad ended up buying it. So, um, and then these were some more. I'm not really sure what these are, if they're comics or graphic novels. I guess you'd consider this more of a graphic novel, but my dad picked up this batch of, for, I think five bucks. There's six of them here. Six of them for $5. So just so you guys know, it's unfortunate, um, my current situation that I'm in. I have to, I really do have to work every Saturday at my uh, retail job and they're they're flexible with me like they they let me go to the flea market and stuff like i'm supposed to be working from seven to three but i told them i i i run a side business so i gotta be in at nine o'clock so that works it's just i can't stay too late and then obviously it's a it's a bit of an inconvenience at times but it works out so especially since i have my dad there to, to kind of stay and and look over stuff all right, so you guys saw this was the first batch of comics we bought. Um, we bought it from the lovely couple that's always there. And they sell, they always sell a bunch of $1 and $2 comics. So we paid $20 for this entire lot here. Morbius issue. See the Morbius movie trailer. That looks pretty good. It looks, looks kind of scary. It looks more like a horror movie than it does a, a superhero movie. But it looks really good. If 
found these really nice Star Wars books. I mean, they're not in great condition, but they're super vintage and to get them for about a buck a piece, you know, it's really good. Found that Scarlet Spider with Venom. Found some nice, incredible Hulk issues. These were in the, I think these were in the dollar bin. Yeah, they're not marked. I think they're in the dollar bin. And these are really cool. Nothing super key, but just good stuff. Good stuff. Can't complain about it. I gotta say, if if uh, Dull from Junkyard Breaks is watching, we missed you, man. We really miss you. We we pulled up. We he's always like the second stand that we always stop at this couple first, and then we go see Dolph. And we were like, "Where is he? Is is he in another row?" We were looking all over for you, bud, but nowhere to be found. It's all right though. We didn't we didn't need you this week because we, we got some good stuff. All right, this was kind of bought when as I was leaving. Um, you guys might have overheard the transaction. Um. One of the guys that we buy from regularly had this stack of uh, kind of Silver Age stuff. I'm not really sure what a lot of it is. Like Metal Man, I don't know what this is. Flash Gordon, 15 cent issue. And he just said, and they were all bagged and boarded. He just said, give me 20 bucks for the lot. And my dad thought that was a good deal. And it looks like some good quality stuff. Once again, nothing spectacular. Nothing spectacular, but just some good vintage I don't even know how many are in here. I think there's maybe like maybe 12 or 13 comics for 20 bucks. Bagged and boarded. 15, 12 cent issues. Manhunter 2070. Guys, based off of last week's flea market performance, if you haven't watched last week's video, do check it out because we got some really good quality stuff in that video including a really awesome uh, Silver Age Thor comic, early Loki appearance. Um, but in comparison to last week, I mean, last week we had the stack of comics, and that was it. And this week, oh, guys, you don't even know. You don't even know what I'm going to pull out at the end of the, these videos here. And so then this was another, this was the, the, um, the guy that I had pulled out a couple of spawn issues and I handed them to my dad and I just said, here, take care of it because he was kind of in the middle of everything. So my dad went ahead and spent $20 on this lot of comics. And there there wasn't really anything. He, like he said, it wasn't, wasn't that great. Unfortunately, we got there like maybe three or four minutes late. We Because as we were walking up to the stand... He had already pulled out some boxes of new comics, and fortunately, I mean, I was watching guys go through it. I didn't see anything in there that I would have, you know, would have jumped on and died for. You know what I mean? It's like, there was like a lot of 80s stuff, which 80s, 90s, and I don't I don't know if there was a lot of even 70s in there, to be honest. But it's not really my era of comics. I'm, I'm more of an old soul when it comes to the comic books. I don't know too much about the newer stuff it doesn't really interest me to be honest i really like the the vintage stuff i like the the silver and bronze age stuff all right but let's get into the next thing okay so more off camera stuff so my dad went ahead and bought a 007 james bond funko pop um and then one of the big ticket items the james bond funko pop Flip this around with the Aston Martin. Um, basically, how this went was I was at work. I had already got to work. It was like 9.15, 9.30, and I got a text message from my dad showing me a picture of this. He was like, guy wants $75 for it, I think. He said 75 or 80. I said, if you can get it for anything less than that, so if you can get it for 70 bucks or 65 bucks. It's a good deal. We'll take it. We got a James Bond movie coming up. And my dad ended up getting both these things, I think, for $80. Both, both the Funkos. Uh, I'll show this last issue. So we did go back to the couple that we had brought the first batch of comics from. And this is their son, I believe. And he always shows up with a more... I'm guessing all the comics are his, but he always shows up with a more exclusive box, and I usually don't catch him because usually I leave before he gets there. But we found him today, 
Um, and this, this was just a nice issue, you know, it was, you guys might have heard me say in the video, it was just an attention grabber. I mean, I love this era of X-Men comics. I love the artwork from this, this kind of, the new X-Men after the giant size X-Men. The, the Colossus and the Wolverine are, I mean, it, it's really eye-catching. It's like, um, just something that caught my attention. And now he didn't have a price on it. And all his other books in that box were priced, and they were they were really high priced. I mean, he he knows what he what he has. He, you're not getting anything really for a cheap bargain. But just the trick of the trade, guys. Um, if somebody has a bunch of priced issues and you find something that's not priced, you know, that's the thing to target uh, in in a way because the seller doesn't have a price on it, and you could just catch him. Not not saying that we caught the guy on on a bad day or that we or that we got a great deal here, but. Because this wasn't priced, and because he's in the middle of the flea market day, and he, you know, he just has to come up with a price on the fly, rather than he's at home and he has time to to research and sit down and think of it. So he just threw out twenty dollars for it, which was, you know, that was high. So I said, I cut it in half. I said, would you take ten for it? And he said, yeah. And you know what? Maybe the maybe the reason that he accepted that is because he didn't. Um, have a price sticker on it and he wasn't really set on a price so i'm not gonna say i got a great deal at ten dollars but i i got a book that i really like i think you guys are really gonna like it too and that's that okay so another thing we got this was a great way to start the day for any of you that caught this the 007 uh, now that I think about it, the, the James Bond stuff ran hot today. I didn't even make that connection that I got this and the, the Funko stuff. But 007, Milton Bradley board game, Sean Connery cover. I, I'm guessing this is from the 60s. Um, I do have a couple of uh, Milton and Bradley board games of the themes that I like. I have stuff like Underdog and the, uh, the Monster Squad and um, some other stuff. So this was a great piece to add. Uh, for 10 bucks. Um, I don't know if it's complete. I'm not really sure the guy said it was complete But I don't really trust people whenever they say it's complete or not complete. You know, I don't I don't know I got to research it and uh, Check it out for myself, but if it is complete or even if it's missing a couple parts ten dollars It's it's not in great shape, but it's good enough guys. It's, it's, it's a good buy This was kind of All right, so this was kind of the big ticket item of the day. For all you action figure fans out there, you know, this is one of the better sets of the 90s X-Men run. You really got this, you got the Sentinel, and the Blackbird playset are really, the, I guess, the three best things to get out of this. And the plastic's still on it, and the corners are a little worn. There's no really, uh, not that I see, I don't see any tears. I don't see anything really wrong with it. Well, obviously, all the figures are in there. And everything looks like it's in really good shape. And the guy said 75 bucks. Honestly, honestly, I might have paid the 75 bucks. But I was, I'm, I'm always trying to get as good a deal as possible without being insulting. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to just say, you know, $40 or anything. So I stood tall with a $60 offer. If he didn't accept it, I mean, I might have said like 70 or something. I might have paid the 75. I don't know. It's a really nice piece, guys. I mean, I don't see, you know, you don't go to a flea market really and see stuff like this. This is more of a of a toy show or, or a comic convention kind of item. Not really a flea market item. That's one of the things I'm kind of honing in on. I'm trying to uh, discipline myself. When, when you see good quality stuff, buy it you know buy it and at sixty dollars it's not a great steal price i didn't get it for a bargain but with christmas coming up i believe the price of these is going to go up and i believe i could sell this for a hundred dollars or more and that's kind of the name of the game it's not a quick flip it's not like i said it's not a great price it's going to be expensive to ship but it's going to be a nice piece to have on my ebay page it'll get people coming all right so this is some more cool stuff that you guys did not see i didn't see it but I'm looking at it now. My dad bought posters from a woman who was selling these. 
She originally was asking $5 a piece for these posters. I'm going to have to hold this. But my dad ended up buying uh, 12 I think, for 25 So she, he ended up paying like 2 bucks a piece for these. So she really came down on the price. So she went from 5 bucks a piece, apparently, to about two fifty a piece. I just got to find a better way to hold this. And, you know, these are just, they're really cool. I mean, we don't, we're not... Well, I shouldn't say we're not huge poster people. I mean, you could see, have some posters. I got a King Kong poster over there and a Godzilla poster in the back. But we're not huge poster people, you know? It's, I mean, these aren't framed or anything, so they're not really going to probably get hung up. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. You know, I don't know if I could sell these on eBay for good money. I, I mean, shipping them, I don't know. I, I have no idea what I'm going to do. But I'd rather have them than not have them, especially at two bucks a piece. I mean, they're really cool. Obviously, the subject matter is comic books and and really nice key issues, so that's really cool. Price is good. I mean, when you see stuff like this, you, you, you buy it. What are you gonna do? You, you can't you can't not buy it. That's not an option. And then, really, this is one of my favorite ones coming up. We got the Avengers one here. And this one's just kind of like the odd one of the bunch. I don't know if this one's different. It's it's on different material. This is on more of a cardboard material. So I don't know what this is, guys, but it's Forbidden Planet. You obviously saw the video. If you haven't, go check it out. But the video where I found some Robbie the Robots at Walmart. I'm a huge sci-fi fan, especially the 50s and 60s sci-fi. And this is obviously one of the, the greatest sci-fi films of all time. And it's not like the other posters. It's it's a little different. So it's pretty cool. All right. So with that being said, you know what? I can I can maybe even use one of these things as like a background or something, to be honest, with these videos. That'd be cool. Maybe I can even switch them up every now and then. We'll find something to do with these. I'm not I'm not too sure. So the last thing I want to show you guys is once again off camera, but I stopped for the first time at a store in Caldwell, New Jersey. Uh, just in case you can see that. Gotham Comics. Uh, apparently, they they were in a location for about seven to eight years. And they recently moved to this new location. I'd never been to either store. And I decided to drop in there today. And I just found a face of the Screaming Werewolf new Mego action figure. It is numbered. Uh, it doesn't say it's numbered out of a certain... Some of them say, like, out of 10,000. I have a couple of those that are, like... Uh, they're, like, number 500 out of 10,000. So they're, they're numbered. That, that's kind of cool. But this one does have a number on it, but whatever. But a new Mego action figure for the Wolfman. She did have... There was a girl behind the counter. She said that the owner there were two owners to the store who weren't in. But she did have... Uh, like Dracula and Frankenstein and everything. But Wolfman's kind of my thing. It was 15 bucks, And I just wanted to buy something while I was there. I mean, <laughs> I was just like... I, I was able to make some small talk and some conversation. And just ended up walking away with this. But, yeah, so that's really going to do it, I guess, for this video. So, I mean, guys, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Like, is this the best video? As far as, as, I think as far as the toys are concerned, and just, like, the overall quality of stuff, guys, it just keeps getting better and better. I mean, this obviously wasn't the greatest comic book video in the world. This was kind of, like, the, the crown jewel of the comics today. But just more big-ticket items that are coming in. I'm really having a good time uh, making these videos, and hey, thank you guys for watching. Um, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, let me know what you think was a good buy, let me know what was a bad buy. Uh, if you dislike the video, let me know why, and if you like it, let me know why. And, um, eh, I guess I'll catch you guys midweek. See you in the next one.